MCAT 2015 CRAM Physical Foundations Question Flashcard 27 Normal Force on an Elevator Passenger All right, let's delve into the question. An elevator passenger accelerates upwards from rest at a value of 3 meters per second squared. What is the normal force of the elevator passenger if the passenger has a mass of 50 kilograms? Is it going to be A, 150 newtons, B, 350 newtons, C, 650 newtons, or D, 500 newtons? I'll give you a moment to think and definitely press pause if you need to. All right, hopefully you've began to formulate an answer, and if you haven't, that's fine. Let's explore the uh, thought process for this solution. Okay, so let's create a free body diagram around the passenger to clarify the forces acting on the passenger, okay? So the passenger definitely experiences a gravitational force down the elevator, while also experiencing a normal force up in the upwards direction from the elevator floor surface. But the net acceleration of the passenger is the same as the elevator, which is uh, three meters per second squared, okay? And the net force of the passenger is going to be the product of the mass of the passenger, which we're told in the question stem is 50 kilograms, times the net acceleration, which is not only 3 meters per second squared, but also the downward g acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared. But for MCAT purposes, we're going to approximate 9.8 meters per second squared at 10 meters per second squared. Since we don't have a calculator handy, and this makes multiplication much easier, okay? Um, so yeah, that's the net force. It's going to be, again, the product of the mass times the net acceleration. So we have to include both the elevator and passenger acceleration as well as g, the acceleration due to gravity, okay? The net force of the passenger should be equal to the sum of the individual forces um, on the passenger. And the individual forces that are directed upwards in this scenario of, the, um, of net force calculation are going to be deemed positive and those downward forces are going to be deemed negative, okay? So let me uh, show you what I'm talking about. So F net is going to be F normal because we deem the positive direction positive, I mean the upwards direction positive, minus F gravitational because we assign the downward direction as the negative direction here, okay? And you always have to do that when solving these force vector problems. You have to assign one direction positive and the other negative just to orient things properly. Else you'll have the right magnitude and values, but your summation or subtraction will be off to getting the wrong answer, okay? So you don't want to do that. So we break down F net into its components. That's going to be the mass of the passenger times the net acceleration is equivalent to F normal minus mg, okay? So F, we rearrange the equation and we bring um, mg over to the right-hand side and then reverse just to make things neater. So F normal is equivalent to mg plus the mass of the passenger times the net acceleration. So now uh, we can multiply to get our uh, force of gravity or the weight of the passenger. So that's going to be 50 times 10, where 50 is 50 kilograms, and the 10 denotes the acceleration due to gravity, which is really 9.8 meters per second squared, as I mentioned earlier, but we're approximating it at 10 meters per second squared. 
Okay, so then we add 50, also 50 representing um, the uh, mass of the passenger, not the weight, because weight is really the force of gravity, times 3, 3 representing the acceleration of the passenger outside of gravity. Okay, all right. So when we simplify that, we get 500 newtons plus 150 newtons for a total of 650 newtons. So the correct answer choice is answer choice C, 650 newtons.